pickup body design is one of the most competitive categories, especially in Kenya, owing to the fact that we are deep into farming, industrialization, and trading, hence the need for an instrument to haul our products to different markets across the country. Now, when it comes to off-road capabilities and towing capacity, all the pickups that you can name, name them from the Hilux to the D-Max do offer an excellent performance. But to separate the boys with one beard from men with beards, we take a look at their engine performance. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you the 2019 Ford Ranger Wild Track to kick us off on how each performs compared to other pickup body design. This is automobile, I normally say it's all about confidence in motion. The Giango Jonathan, here's a chicken dude. Now, the Ford Ranger is continuing to have a steady growth in terms of numbers in the Kenyan market, uh, courtesy of its rugged and bold design. And also, just to mention, uh, it blends well with aftermarket modifications, hence uh, that's why the car enthusiasts prefer to buy the Ford Ranger over other pickups. Now, the Ranger made its debut back in 1998 and it was produced from uh, the first generation was produced from 1998 all the way to 2006. From 2006 all the way to 2011, the second generation was produced. As we speak now, uh, the Ranger availed the T6 model that was uh, pro that was that made its debut back in 2011, which is currently in production, and it was developed under the Mazda BT50 chassis. Now, this car we are having today uh, comes with uh, several engine options. The first engine option uh, is a 2-liter bi-turbo uh, that is driven by diesel, uh, which gives you at least 15 kilometers to the liter. Now, there's also another engine uh, that is a 3.2-liter bi-turbo that gives you 12 kilometers to a liter. One thing I love about uh, the Ranger engine is that when it comes to off-road capability, it gives you good performance. Now, when you are buying the Ford Ranger, the best thing uh, when you ask me, I prefer to go with the 3.2 liter engine compared to the 2.0 by turbo liter engine simply because the 2 liter is a small engine but gives you more power. But uh, hence it's prone to reliability issues. But when you look at the, uh, take a look at the 3.2 liter engine, it's big and gives you also bigger performance. So when you buy this car, the best engine to go with is the 3.2 liter engine. Now this car uh, is connected or rather the power is distributed to all the wheels uh, through a 10-speed automatic transmission. But for my preference, I do love the manual. So if it comes to the manual configuration, of course, it depends with which market are you buying the Ranger from because uh, we do have Thailand, we do have the UK, we do also have South Africa. So from depending from where you're buying the Ranger from, uh, it comes with uh, different specs and also you as the owner, you know the specs that you love. So you can go with the market from Thailand or UK or South Africa. But for me, I prefer the manual transmission. Let's take a look at the exterior of the 2019 Ford Ranger Wild Truck. Now, when it comes to the exterior design of the Ford Ranger, when you compare it to the previous iterations of the Ranger, you find out that it has undergone a total first lift from the front all the way to the rear. Now, at the front, I do love its rugged and bold design because anywhere it goes, it is eye-catchy and it will catch attention at any given time. At the front end, we do have a Ford emblem, which helps it assert its dominance wherever it goes. Also, the grill has been redesigned when you compare it to the previous generation, that is before the uh, the com commence, commencation or the, the debut of the T6 platform that was based on the Mazda BT50 chassis. Also at the lower fascia we do have some elements and this diffuser. The headlights are very adaptive to road curvature and also you do have some LED daytime 
running lights. Above the hood, we do have some sweeping lines, which also helps in improving the flow of the aerodynamics. Let's take a look at the side profile of the Ford Ranger oil truck. Now, the wheelbase of the 2019 Ford Ranger oil truck is somehow longer and the steps I'm taking means in return, it gives you a roomy cabin. So if you have a family that uh, you are a person with a large household, this car fits you well. Now the side profile has side steps. For those in the group of school, we call them running boards, which help you uh, in exiting or alighting the vehicle at any given time, effortlessly. Also on this fender here, we do have a by turbo to imply that this car uh, is twin turbo powered, whether it's a two liter or a 3.2 liter. Uh, the wheels, uh, before you talk about the wheels, when you look at the approach and departure angles, it means you can go with this car off-road and you won't have any worry that the body components will be damaged because it's good, its ground clearance is very good and also uh, the approach and departure angles are excellent. Also, the wheels size 19 and they, they are very stock together with the alloys. Now, when you go uh, over here, we do have some roof rails which improves uh, the aesthetics of the Ford Ranger. As much as it is considered an off-road vehicle, uh, people living in Metropolis can use it to commute to and from work. Also, we have some trim levels, uh, the higher trim levels that do come with a sunroof to improve uh, natural lighting or rather to give ambient lighting in the car. Now, as we go behind here, we do find out that this 2019 Ford Ranger uh, wild truck comes with a leaf, leaf spring suspension system but for those uh, who like doing aftermarket modifications you can change the leaf spring uh, the suspension from the leaf spring uh, and tune it or rather give it a coil spring suspension for more comfort now the difference between coil spring suspension and leaf spring suspension uh, is that when it comes to hauling tons of cargo uh, it's better to use the leaf spring suspension as in the Toyota Hilux. But when it comes, um, when you're deep into comfort, you want to enjoy driving a car, you can use the coil spring. Let's take a look at the rear end of the Ranger. Now, the rear end of the Ranger is very conservative uh, from the Ford Emblem uh, to of course, surprisingly, what is missing is a toba, which is used, uh, which can be attached to a trailer. But for this trim level, we don't have it. But for higher trim levels, we do have it. And also, when you take a look at the taillights, I do love how the manufacturers did add some kind of a cover to protect the taillights. Because these taillights, when it breaks, my friend, I'm telling you, finding one of these taillights, it is a tall order because they are not easily available because the spare parts of the Ranger, they're not easily available. And if they're available, you lose a lot of money to replace the taillight. Now, the load capacity of the Ranger, compared to other pickups from the Amarok to the Hilux, it does have a decent cargo area for you can haul tons of freight uh, from one location to another. But depending uh, on the, either if it's a regular cab or a double cabin, or a super cab, it will give you decent cargo area depending on what type of luggage are you hauling from one place to another. Now I'm seated in the first row of the 2019 Ford Ranger Wild Trek and my people. Kidogo, kidogo, kidogo. 
ni mzuri sasa zingine ukika kwa gari ujawahi kalia uuske utamu yake i mean this guy is very comfortable it gives you decent legroom and headroom and also the seats can recline to match your desired preference the steering steering wheel is telescoping and the same time power assisted it has some uh, controls over here <coughs> which uh, can use you can use to navigate uh, the infotainment system when it comes to picking up calls or reducing or changing the radio station and many many other things now of course here yeah, it has a 10 speed manual uh, automatic transmission and also compared to the previous generation which we did, we do have a gear stick a, a gear stick that can be used to shift or rather engage the four wheel drive here we just have some a knob which can use to turn it uh, from left uh, to right from too high to four high to four low we also have some compartment storages we do have a center console two cup holders a glove box compartment over here and door pockets which you can use uh, to store or rather hold your drinks paperwork and also even keys and other things we also do have a dashboard camera over here which you can use to record your trip wherever you go what else have I, have I not mentioned anyway as i go to the second row of the ranger let me feel comfortable a little bit Now in the second row of the Ranger we do have also the same attributes as the first row decent headroom ample knee room and also uh, we do have several compartment storages we do have jacket pockets and the armrest as you can see Gary bado mpia fresh barida bado kona kartasi yake and when you are going to Shago especially now that the festive season is almost here you can use this car to traverse any terrain uko Shago konyu kama ni Moranga ama ni Kitale Ama ni yoko kwa nduko zetu wa Think Badi Malo Yeah Now the 2019 Ford Ranger Wild Truck has a power assisted steering wheel which also doubles up as telescopic so it adapts very well to road cabbage and anybody driving it will have a good control and will enjoy uh, their driving experience when it comes to the suspension system of course we have already touched on the suspension system if you are much into comfort you can remove the leaf springs and replace them with the coil springs for more comfort now the brakes of the Ford Ranger they are very robust and rigid so that when it comes uh, for example you are about to experience any kind of potential accident uh, the brakes can bring this car to a halt in a matter of seconds to avoid any kind of mishap other technologies incorporated in the wild track include traction control uh, stability control hill start assist hill start assist I beg your pardon and also hill descent control among other including the anti-lock braking system now before i forgot uh, i have to talk about the four-wheel drive system of this car by the way down there on the comments answer or rather tell me what's the difference between an all-wheel drive system and the four-wheel drive system now for this ranger it's a four-wheel drive system meaning power is dis dis is distributed uh, to all the four wheels evenly now this car uh, its four wheel drive system it has two highs four highs and four lows now depending on the road surface you are traversing in you can interchange the gears uh, so as that so that you don't get stuck in that uneven surface you are driving on now the Ford Ranger 2019 oil truck sits in a very competitive category for it is up against the Mitsubishi L200 the Isuzu D-Max, the Toyota Hilux, we also do have the Nissan uh, Navara, the Volkswagen Amarok. So among those cars that I've mentioned in this category, you can see it's very competitive. So depending once again on your preference, uh, you choose very well. And here at Automobile, we do offer consultancy. So if you feel, if you feel like uh, you don't have, uh, or rather you are the choice you want to go with, you feel like it is not complacent, you can visit us or give us a call or follow us on our handle so that we can advise you accordingly. 
So this car, when you want to buy it through automobile, you are selling it at a cost of 7.3 million Kenya shillings. 7.3 million is the price. And anytime you contact us at 0786150817, we'll deliver this car, the 2019 Ford Ranger Wild Trek, wherever you are. So great people, we've come to the end of today's episode of Automobile, where we normally say it's all about confidence in motion. My name is Abel Nikanero Masete. My producer goes by the name Jonathan Guchie Nungu. See you guys. Peace.